I can't believe some lazy bum like you is married to my brother. Does the term housework mean anything to you? The place isn't any better than a dump. Where did that come from, Jenny? I keep the house pretty well, even if I do say so myself. Calling it a dump is too much, don't you think? You are joking, right? How can you say that? Just this morning, you left for work without even doing the dishes. Please explain to me how that's keeping the house in any way well, miss. I don't see any filth. Timothy and I agreed doing dishes will be his job. Hold on, he left for work without doing them first? Again? Doing the dishes is his responsibility. If you have a problem with it, please tell him. Because it is not my job. We both know this. No freaking way. You're making him do something like that? Are you insane? Doing the dishes is something the wife should be doing, Caddy. I don't see an issue with that. I do everything else around the house. Besides, we both have work. It wouldn't be fair if Timothy didn't do a single chore around the house. He's busy with said work every day. He doesn't have time for things like dishes. He's doing much more work than you do, so he can keep food on the table. Just because you also have to work doesn't mean you can slack off on your duties as his wife. There you go again with that. Let me ask you this. Would it hurt if you helped out a bit, Jenny? Huh? I don't see a reason why I should do something about it. Couldn't you at least do something like doing the dishes to let you stay at our place for free? It's been a whole month since you barged into our place and you haven't paid any rents of any sort. You could at least make up for it by helping around the house, you know? I broke up with my boyfriend and that jerk had the nerve to kick me out of this house. I'm still feeling depressed over that. I'm not exactly in a mentally stable condition to do something like chores. Unless you want me to break things while doing chores. You really are pulling my leg with that one, you know? Besides, Taylor said I don't have to do anything. He also said I don't have to pay rent either. He promised me that I can stay as long as it takes for me to get better. Do you understand the words you're saying? Don't you realize you're totally leeching off us? Yeah. You're telling me to do something like chores? Who do you think you are? Just because you're my brother's wife doesn't mean you can order me around, Caddy. Besides, I still can't get over the fact he chose someone like you as his wife. Wait, for real? How could you say I'm not a good match for him? Now that I think about it, I'll take this opportunity to see how you really are. <laughs> Let's see if you truly deserve to be together with my brother. You could even say it's a little test I prepared for you to see if you're a fitting wife for him. In fact, I'll even teach you what it means to be a proper wife if you want to pass a grade from me. <laughs> you got all that? Good. Now, do your part as the lady of the house. Timothy, do you have a moment? We need to talk. Will you please do something about Jenny? I'm really not fond of her just staying in our place as if it's her own. How can you say that? I can't believe how heartless you are. Jenny is my sister and she came to me in her time of need. Plus, we have plenty of spare rooms around here. She's not bothering anyone. You've seen how she treats me, right? She's really getting under my skin. Plus, the moment she sees you doing any chores around here, she finds it as the perfect excuse to yell at me. The housework is the wife's job, she goes. And she won't stop harassing me about it. I really am getting tired of it, Timothy. In that case, you really should do all the chores around here, Kathy. If you do that, I'm sure Jenny will stop bothering you about it. Excuse me? Have you lost your mind? Timothy, we had an agreement. We will divide up the housework since we're both working. You were fine with this. You know, that's what I thought at first. However, this whole dividing up the housework thing got me thinking lately. No, in fact, for a while now. I'm the man around here. I have no reason to do something like housework. Oh, please, that is nonsense. Let's set things straight here. We both have a day job, right? It would not be fair if I had to do all of the chores on top of it. Don't you think it would be exhausting? Holly, stop. I know all about your elaborate scheme. 
Saying how things around here are unfair won't make me do everything you ask. I won't be doing anything around the house from now on, capish? What the heck do you mean? How is that a scheme of any sort? Are chores that much of a burden for you? Jenny told me all about it and it opened my eyes. I'm doing too much around here even though I'm the man of the house. All the housework should be handled by the wife in any relationship, regardless of whether she has a job or not. Jenny also told me how you managed to brainwash me to doing chores. That's not how it is for other couples. She made me realize how unfair this whole thing was. Please, have some common sense. It only makes sense that a working couple should divide up the housework. We're both trying to make a living, right? Also, doesn't it make sense that two people who love each other try to support each other? Enough of all this. You're just trying to make me do what's supposed to be your work. I know that's the case now. You're simply trying to trick me into doing things as you please. If you don't like it, then maybe it's time you left this relationship. I don't need a wife that tries to order me around to be her puppet. I can't believe you really said that. Do you really mean that? Yeah, what if I am? Timothy, what's gotten into you? You weren't always like this. You've been acting really strange ever since Jenny came to our place. All Jenny did was give me a wake-up call. She told me how I'm too nice, spoiling you even. I'm the man of this family. I should be the one giving orders around here. Oh, I should have known. This is all Jenny's doing, and you don't realize she's the one that's actually brainwashing you. Well, that's how things will be from here on out. Swear you will do all the housework on your own from now on, and I'll let you stay with me. As if I will, you moron. By the way, Timothy, I will be going off for a business trip. I would like you to kick Jenny out of our house before I get back. Otherwise, I actually will leave you. Wait, a business trip? That's so sudden. You're only telling me this now? Honestly, I couldn't ask for better timing. Let's take the time to cool our heads, shall we? Because you're not thinking straight right now. Don't try to change the subject, Kathy. There's no way I could kick out Jenny. She's my sister. She's a precious family member. Let me tell you this, Timothy. Keeping her around you longer and she will drag you down into madness. In fact, I feel like she already has. I'm saying all this for your own good. We're a married couple, don't forget that. She's literally ruining our relationship just by being around. Watch your words. Don't talk about Jenny like that. I really hate to say this kind of thing, but you have a decision to make. Who's more important to you, your sister or your wife? Give it some thought, okay? In any case, I'll be staying at a hotel starting tonight, and I'll be back for my business trip in a month. I'm sure that's enough time for you to make a decision. I hope you make a wise one. Hey, Caddy. I heard you're on a business trip. How's it going? You're coming back in three weeks, right? Yes, that's right. Make sure to pack all your stuff and move out before I return. Whoa, what? <laughs> Why should I move out of this place? I'm pretty sure Timothy filled you in on what we discussed. We decided that we can't keep you around anymore. Please leave our house before our relationship really goes sour. Since when did you give me orders? Anyways, here's a surprise for you. You'll be the one leaving my brother's apartment, Caddy. Timothy chose me, his precious sister, over you. Did he say that seriously? So... I did you a favor and got the divorce papers ready while you're gone, and it was filed and processed. Now, you and Timothy will be complete strangers. Don't you even dare think about coming back now, you slub. <laughs> Hold on, what do you mean you filed for divorce? And it's being processed? More importantly, Timothy decided to keep you around. Tell me you're joking right now. Nope, it's all facts. While you were on that business trip of yours, I prepared the divorce papers and handed them over for a petition. Just for the record, Timothy knows about all this, right? He's actually committed to going through the divorce process and ending our relationship? I filled it in and told him afterwards. I am so lost for words right now. But he wasn't mad at me or anything. The opposite, rather. He showered me with compliments for getting the complicated stuff done and over with. 
He's even looking forward to having a new wife that won't boss him around and try to brainwash him. <laughs> you can't be serious. So don't even think about coming back to this place. Frankly, you deserve it. You lazy bum. Timothy doesn't need a useless wife like you around him. He deserves better. All right. I guess this really is goodbye then. That's right. In fact, get out of my life, would you? You won't be Timothy's wife anymore, which means you aren't my sister-in-law. We're complete strangers now. You're right. Since the divorce will be processed, we will indeed become complete strangers. Which means I won't have to pay the rent, which is $3,500 per month, by the way and other living expenses for him, right? Never heard of someone paying rent for a complete stranger before. Wait, what are you talking about? I'll have to contact the landlord to stop taking the rent out of my account. Just so you know, the rent is due at the end of each month. I think you have about two weeks to have it ready. Otherwise, I'm sure the landlord can kick you out. Pretty sure we agreed to those terms. Hold on a minute. What the heck are you talking about? Why are you bringing that up all of a sudden? What do you mean? I'm just being nice and filling you in on the fact that the place you and Timothy are living costs that much. We rented the place under his name, but I was the one actually paying for rent. Not to mention other daily living expenses as well. The rent was $3,500, plus I think I spent around $1,500 to $2,000 for us every month. Now that I think about it, I really do make bank, don't I? No way! How the heck is the rent so high here? Since I'm feeling extra nice, I'll fill you in. You wouldn't know since all you did was take up space. The apartment is located in a very luxurious neighborhood. Plus, it is big enough to house three adults and even have some space to spare, right? You might not believe it, but it's actually one of the cheaper places to rent in that area. It shouldn't be shocking to you. Three and a half grand per month is considered cheap around here? What? Hold up. How the heck did you manage to afford such a place? In fact, it doesn't make any sense that you can afford to pay all the expenses not by yourself, at least. Where's that one coming from? How does that not make any sense? I'm in a position where I go on business trips on behalf of a company. Doesn't that say anything about my position at the place I work at? Of course they would pay me the amount that equals the responsibility I have to bear. Wait, seriously? Yes, it's not exactly an easy job with all the things I have to deal with at work. With all that said, I really did consider myself as a wife who can do it all taking care of most, if not all, of the housework, along with my day job. But all I ever got back from you and Timothy were endless complaints. Never a sincere appreciation. Honestly, I was getting really tired of it. I'm actually kind of glad you started the divorce process for me. I appreciate it, actually. This can be real! From now on, you'll have to live with what you two make. I wish you two, the loving siblings, the best of luck. Stop trying to sound like you mattered in this relationship just because you make some money. Timothy definitely makes more than enough. We don't need you. I'm sure he can afford all the stuff around here by himself. We don't need your money or pity. We'll just be fine. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, but there's no way he can afford that place on his own. I'll fill you in on another secret. Timothy only has a part-time job. And he only works three days a week to boot. What's this part-time job about? There were even times where he only made 500 just because he didn't feel like working. Calling in sick and whatnot to avoid as much work as possible. Stop! Explain this part-time job thing. Isn't Timothy working a full-time job? With high pay? I can't believe this! Since when was he living like this? Hmm, I think it's been two years or so? Ever since he was laid off from his last job, he couldn't find a new job. So, I suggested he should at least work part-time while looking for a new job. I wanted him to make some kind of contribution to the family rather than being a complete bum. Seriously? And this has been going on for two years? Exactly. Plus, even though I suggested that he should work more hours, he just refuses to work more than three days a week. I'm not surprised you didn't know. On his non-work days, he leaves the house to go practice photography, aka take blurry pictures of rocks. That's why he's gone all day. Yet, he has the nerve to say that we both have day jobs. On top of it, he was trying to get me to do all the chores around the house. My patience with him was running really thin. I don't care about what you think. This place costs so much, it's ridiculous. Not to mention other expenses we're supposed to keep up with. Oh, I know. Timothy has some savings at least, right? Otherwise, 
It doesn't make sense that all he does is work three days a week. Yeah, he must have something to fall back on. Honestly, I don't know if he has anything saved up. We do have a joint account, but since we're going to be divorced, the funds in it will be divided. Of course, most of the money that makes up the balance was contributed by me. So, Timothy will maybe get 20 or 30% of the balance? That's all he get? Just hope he has some money saved up elsewhere. Because I don't see where else he could be getting money from. Well, will you look at the time? I need to get back to work. So, I'll end the conversation here. I'll be rooting for you to take in enough money for this month. Kathy, this is all a big misunderstanding. A complete hoax. The divorce is not happening. I didn't think Jenny would actually get divorce papers ready. A misunderstanding? Sure it is. Please, Kathy, listen to what I have to say. Please stay. I don't want to divorce you. No, I cannot divorce you. What are you talking about? I thought you were all excited to find a new wife that won't boss you around, right? It sounded like you were just looking for the right opportunity to divorce me, and Jenny gave you exactly what you wanted. I only said that to get along with her. I was just acting like I agreed with what Jenny said. I really didn't mean it. I regret it. Every single word of it. I didn't think Jenny would actually file us for divorce. Let alone it would work. I didn't think Jenny impersonating you to file the divorce papers would actually get things going. Please, you have to believe me. I can't believe that's actually what happened. Regardless, I can no longer be with you. We're done being a married couple. Divorce is not some children's game a responsible adult should try to get done on a whim or as a joke. I'm sure you can understand that. I'm telling you, I'm really sorry. I didn't think things would actually turn out this way. I can't live without you. I mean it. I'll even kick Jenny out of the house. You like that, right? So please, come back to me when you're done with a business trip. I'll be waiting with open arms. I promise. Not a chance. It's too late for apologies. Kicking Jenny out of your place isn't going to change anything either. We're no longer a married couple, and that's that. End of conversation. Please, have some mercy, Kathy. I'm begging you. Goodbye. And don't ever contact me again. We'll only speak about necessary things through a lawyer. I wish you luck on finding a new job, though. Caddy, you have to help me. Timothy seriously hates me now. Why are you texting me? He's saying it's all my fault that things ended up this way. So, he wants me to earn money to pay for rent and everything. I couldn't believe my own eyes. He was so scary. He was never like this before. Plus, he just sold all my clothes, makeup, and even my purse. Just so he can make money. I can't stand it. He's not the same Timothy I know and love. Well, isn't that great? He's doing what he can to make money. Isn't he so sweet? He's just trying to take care of you as your brother. Though, I didn't need to hear any of that story since we're strangers now. Could you stop texting me? You're being an annoyance. I think I should just press the block button. Please don't be like that, Caddy. Please don't block me. I will change my ways. I realize what I've done. I will even keep the house for you. I'll do anything you tell me to. So please, get together with Timothy again. Not in a million years. Besides, the divorce process has already started. From now on, I'll be spending my hard-earned cash just for myself. I'll finally have some quality time for myself as well. What about us? Are you really going to abandon us? We'll be kicked out of the apartments if you don't come back. I failed to see why that's a bad thing since it's not my problem. I really don't have anything else to tell you on that matter. Can I go now? Do you really not care what happens to us? Since I'm feeling generous, here's a tip. Why not just move back to your parents' place? Your brother only works three days a week, and you don't have an income to speak of. Considering how much rent costs these days, there's no way you two can live on your own. Have your parents take you back in. Problem solved. If it was that easy, I wouldn't be texting you. 
I had to ask you for help because we can't do that. What do you mean by that? Are your parents not willing to take you two back? Not after all the things had happened to this point. I told them about Timothy getting divorced and we need to move back in with them because of it. Then they cut back to us, but they weren't happy about it. They said, we have no son who divorces his wife because of the stupidest reasons. Plus, we don't recall having a daughter who stirs up this kinds of troubles. They're so done with us. They said they don't want to see us ever again and don't want to consider us as their kids. Oh my, I'm really glad they said that. I always thought Timothy's parents were great people. I was right. Hello? Did you listen to what I said? We need a place to stay, Caddy. Please come back. I'll do anything. So please, please be together with Timothy again. Are you sure you want that to happen? I thought you couldn't get over the fact that a lazy bum like me is married to your brother. And now you want the same lazy bum to be back with your brother? You don't have to put up with me. You don't have to force yourself into that situation again. I didn't mean any of that, really. Here's the bottom line. There's no way I'm getting together with Timothy again. And aren't you glad? Now there isn't a lazy bum bothering your brother that you love so much. I wish you the best of luck in life. Goodbye. After all that, I returned from my business trip and finalized the divorce process. Property division and all that legal stuff. Afterwards, my legal ties with Timothy ended. Timothy didn't have any savings of his own. Figures. Plus, it was found out that he was using money out of our joint account for personal use. Because of that, pretty much all of the savings we had in the joint account ended up back to me. Timothy ended up with a few hundred at most. Naturally, he was kicked out of the apartment we were living in. As for Jenny, I heard she tried to contact her friends in hopes of finding a place to stay. However, all of them refused to take her in as a roommate. She wasn't willing to pay any rent or do any housework. No one would take someone in like that. She never changed, even after all this. In the end, she's still leeching off of Timothy, who managed to find a place he could rent even with his chicken feed. Though, the two of them can never be the doting siblings they once were. Apparently, whenever Timothy sees Jenny, he yells at her about how it's all her fault that he got into a divorce with me. Their relationship will never be the same again.